ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017. General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories Now we are going to detail about ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017, Clause 5.0, Structural Requirements The laboratory shall be a legal entity, or a defined part of a legal entity, that is legally responsible for its laboratory activities. It means that, laboratories should be registered with statutory bodies or local governments. For example, in India, laboratories can be registered under the Company Act, the Limited Liability Act, etc. Likewise laboratories, they should be registered as per country-specific statutory or government regulations. The laboratory shall identify management that has overall responsibility for the laboratory. The laboratory should identify who can manage the overall operations of the laboratory, and he or she can be overall responsible for each activity performed in the laboratory. He or she is the primary contact person from the laboratory. The laboratory shall define and document the range of laboratory activities for which it conforms to this document. The laboratory shall only claim conformity with this document for this range of laboratory activities, which excludes externally provided laboratory activities on an ongoing basis. The laboratory should define the scope of testing, or, calibrations such as product, test parameters, or, calibration parameters, methods, range of testing, or calibrations such as lower range and higher range. Laboratories should get accreditation for the scope of testing, or calibration as per ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017, upon receipt of accreditation only, the lab should claim conformity to ISO, IEC, 17025 standard with respect to the accredited scope of testing, or, calibration. A laboratory cannot claim conformity to ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017 standard for externally provided laboratory activities, such as subcontracting activities. Laboratory activities shall be carried out in such a way as to meet the requirements of this document, the laboratory's customers, regulatory authorities, and organizations providing recognition. This shall include laboratory activities performed in all its permanent facilities, at sites away from its permanent facilities, in associated temporary or mobile facilities or at a customer's facility. Even if a lab is at permanent facilities, at sites away from its permanent facilities, in associated temporary or mobile facilities or at a customer's facility, laboratories should meet the requirements of ISO, IEC, 17025 standard, customer requirements, regulatory requirements, and recognition bodies requirements. The laboratory shall define the organization and management structure of the laboratory, its place in any parent organization, and the relationships between management, technical operations, and support services. The laboratory shall specify the responsibility, authority, and interrelationship of all personnel who manage, perform or verify work affecting the results of laboratory activities. The laboratory should have an organization chart that details the reporting structure of technical. Operations, support services such as the Accounts Department, Purchase Department, Sample Registration Department, Project Management Department, Business Development Department, etc., to management. Laboratory should define the roles and responsibilities, authorities of each employee, who can manage, who can perform testing, or calibration, who can verify the data, reports, etc. in their job description. Document its procedures to the extent necessary to ensure the consistent application of its laboratory activities and the validity of the results. It means that the lab should document its procedures to ensure consistent application of its laboratory activities and the quality of results. In this the word extent necessary is mentioned, it means that, apart from the procedures, suggested in ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017, 
lab can prepare additional procedures to ensure its consistent implementation to produce quality of results. The laboratory shall have personnel who, irrespective of other responsibilities, have the authority and resources needed to carry out their duties, including implementation, maintenance, and improvement of the management system, identification of deviations from the management system or from the procedures for performing laboratory activities, those are mainly responsibilities of Quality Assurance Unit. Initiation of actions to prevent or minimize such deviations. Reporting to laboratory management on the performance of the management system and any need for improvement. Ensuring the effectiveness of laboratory activities. QA will have those responsibilities and Quality Assurance Unit will have a direct access to the management on reporting performance of laboratory activities and quality management systems. Laboratory management shall ensure that communication takes place regarding the effectiveness of the management system and the importance of meeting customers and other requirements. Laboratory management regularly reviews the laboratory status and communicates to employees on meeting customer, regulatory requirements, and effective implementation of quality management systems in the laboratory. The integrity of the management system is maintained when changes to the management system are planned and implemented. For example, if any key personnel leave the organization, there should be a backup person for each critical activity. If there is a change in the management of the laboratory, there should be clear planning for handing over the activities to the new management, ensuring there is no impact on existing laboratory activities and regulatory requirements. Takeaway from Clause 5.0 of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017 Lab should be registered legally. Lab should have designated person for overall responsibilities of lab. The scope of activities should be defined. Define the organization structure, roles, responsibilities, and authorities. Establishment of QMS as per ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017 Laboratory should appoint a quality manager for management system implementation and a technical manager for technical operations of the laboratory. Effective communication processes are established through meetings, intercom phones, emails, etc. When there is a change in the management system integrity should be maintained, example, deputy to key personnel. Examples of non-conformances as per Clause 5.0 Laboratory management is not identified as the overall responsible person for managing the laboratory operations. Laboratory performing testing at an accredited mobile facility but not complying with the requirements of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017 standard. Laboratory has not defined the organization structure and interrelationships between management, technical operations, and support services. The laboratory has not defined the roles, responsibilities, and authorities of personnel for those who can work, who can verify, and who can approve. The laboratory does not have personnel who, irrespective of other responsibilities, have the authority and resources needed to carry out their duties as per Clause 5.6. Thank you. Happy learning!